Do you ever think of doing something and you want to make it easy or easier? And you think, okay, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to do this easier thing, this easier way. And yeah, that's how it's going to go. And then you take a, a very sharp turn. And you don't go towards easy. <laughs> you go towards harder. Well, that's what I just did today. I thought this morning... I thought, okay, I'm going to do a week. It's a transition week. I'm leaving tomorrow from California, which has been a powerful, intense, lovely. It's been, it's been a, an amazing time. And I'm transitioning tomorrow to Minneapolis, Minnesota, where I get to be with some humans that I really love. Yeah. And I thought, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick an easy week's theme because that's how, that's what smart people would do. I did not pick that theme. I did not pick gentle. What did I pick? I picked acceptance. Hmm. Okay, so I think that I can rock this in easier ways and I'm probably going to rock it also in some really intense ways that's how I roll folks you can't you could never accuse me of not being intense enough or passionate enough I don't think that anyone would accuse Uncle Bear Klein that's me uh, from for being you know not passionate enough patience is going to be involved in what acceptance this week's theme is acceptance a couple years back I read Tara Brock I think that's her name a Buddhist teacher writer she's all over the place I'm sure you've come across maybe some of her work she wrote a book called radical acceptance and it <laughs> was radical and it helped shift my life. And acceptance is one of those things that I think we continue to develop, to develop our relationship to it for the rest of our days. I know I have. And I know acceptance has been challenging because as a more active activist in my past, you know, acceptance of suffering, harm, violence, racism, sexism, transphobia, colonization. We're supposed to accept those. And I don't think we can do very much until we accept what's going on. We accept what is present. That's my hypothesis, is that through strengthening our muscles of acceptance, we will be able then to take the action or not that is needed in a moment, especially a challenging moment. Acceptance in my brain hole comes first, perhaps. After awareness, you know, awareness, attention, all that stuff. But how do you accept? How, and how do you accept things that are so painful and challenging? So that's going to be present this week, too. And I'm hoping, like, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow I have a nine-plus-hour flight, flight, flight. Whoa! So I'm going to have to practice acceptance in various ways. Because there's going to be so much out of my control. Because in life, there's so much out of our control. Our our wanting this certainty and this control is mostly, I think, an illusion. And it's a useful illusion. It gets people get shit done. I'll tell you, some of those control freaks get shit done. A lot more than this bear. 
and we need to accept that impermanence is the only game in town change is the only constant that is how it rolls folks so acceptance today I had acceptance early this morning. I just didn't realize I did my experiment before I realized I was doing an experiment. That does happen sometimes. Most of the time, I have an idea. I try to execute it, and then what happens? What happens? And then I do, 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 do. I write it up, or you know, I, I wrangle with that, right? And this morning, a really wonderful being offered me a ride to pick me up tomorrow from the airport. And it's kind of late. I get in at 11.55 p.m. And so I was a little bit like, are you sure? And then you know what I did? I said, yes. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, my God. Wow. What a gift to give to me. That after this long flight and this transition into a whole nother rhythm coming back to the Midwest from the West Coast, you know, to have that ease of being picked up by someone I love and who cares for me. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Except that. And it was hard. It was kind of hard in that moment because in my mind I was like, it's too much trouble. Acceptance. So there's that part of acceptance, too. The homework for today is to get your head around acceptance. I started looking at its origins, and I'm trying to have a multi-perspective multi about it. I would like lots of different lenses in thinking about acceptance this week. So what does acceptance mean to you? How are you in accepting things? How does it feel? Doing a, a kind of like, you know, a check, a check in with your relationship to acceptance. Oh, and hey, so this is <laughs> the first day of the summer edition, which I have not updated my Patreon yet, but there will be a there'll be a snazzy title. And I will update that front page that you first see when you land on my Patreon. And yeah, so this is the first one of summer. Experiment 183, I think. Wow. And so all this is where it's hosted on Patreon. And if you want to become a patron of mine, woohoo, will I be so thrilled. Starts at five bucks a month. It's a deal. And there's other tiers if you want more um, intensive connection with Uncle Bear, with me. And I would just love you to join this community. And also, please, hey, subscribe. Take your paw. Hit the subscribe button. I have a mustachio. That's my channel. You can click on that, and that it will take you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And that would make me so happy, too. I am building that community very, very slowly as well. I'm not, hey, I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. This is definitely one of the ways I'll be serving, hopefully for a while. So, acceptance. I wish you good journeys this week. I'm really excited and a little freaked out. And I would love to hear your take on acceptance. I think it's a powerful thing. And I know I don't have, I don't have my head around all of it. So, acceptance. Have beautiful weeks. And we do this thing together. We do this thing together. Thanks.